James Monroe is back from the dead and ready to make some serious changes to the American government. Why should you care? Why should you vote for him? Well, I'll tell you. I began the era of good feelings. I exemplified being chief of state by being a founding father and, of course, being president for two terms. In fact, nobody ran against me for my second term. As chief diplomat, I was the main architect of America's foreign policy. The best example of me being chief diplomat is, of course, the Monroe Doctrine. This is without a doubt one of the most important foreign policy doctrines in U.S. history. The point of the policy was to make it clear to European nations that there would be no further European colonization in the Americas or any interference with independent states. As chief legislator, I was the main architect of America's public policies. For example, it was me that enacted the Missouri Compromise. This act maintained the balance between slave and free states and held off the Civil War for a few more decades. Get your money, whip your hand, executive branch, blow and smoke like a player. As the nation's chief executive, I had immensely broad power in the nation's domestic and foreign affairs, most notably by breaking all ties with France that remained from the War of 1812. Not to mention, I'm incredibly well-dressed and an overall really likable guy. I'm back and better than ever.